All right, guys. Uh, so we're back over here at the shop again, just messing around with the uh, blazer some more. So I'm working on uh, putting in a little uh, triple gauge set just to keep a better eye on temps and oil pressure, all that good stuff. So you can check it out. So here's the gauge set that uh, I'm putting in here and I just put it on this bottom little uh, storage tray right there in the middle. So it'd be good, easy to read. Um, should work good, and you see I just ran the engine there, so we, we are reading uh, right at 170 right now. Um, so all that's working, I'll show you out at the engine bay. So out here, uh, I did drill another hole in the firewall, routed the line up, and then right there. So I took out the stock one from here and mounted this one in. And I may end up putting the stock one back in, um, and this is it here. There's a stock one. So I may end up putting it back in uh, if I get one of the inline deals that you, you actually cut the hose, but I may do it down on the lower hose so I can get the temperature coming out of the radiator. And then we got temperature of the engine here. So uh, just to be able to use it because uh, it does have factory gauges with the numbers, um, but I just feel safer having a mechanical gauge out here that's reading the temperature all the time. If you shut the motor off, you still got a uh, temperature reading. So, so got that done. Also, uh, got uh, back window done here. So now we're sporting the high revs on here. So uh, got that going. And again, I don't say this to y'all enough, but make sure y'all check out the website, see anything you like. If you got any ideas, shoot me an idea and we'll work on it and see what we can come up with. So, uh, but this is the new Team High Revs truck. Uh, can play around with it a little bit. We may end up taking it to the strip later on, changing some things up and seeing how that works. But uh, this thing does pretty good. Pretty good. Got the oil pressure gauge set up now. Plenty of oil pressure. So I think that'll work. Now I just gotta hook up uh, the electrics and voltmeter, volt gauge, all that good stuff. So there we go. So you can see the small clear line there. That's where I went to on these. There's actually a small boss there uh, right above the oil filter on a uh, 350 style, small block Chevy or whatever, 383 or whatever. Um, so you can run your pressure gauge off of there. I left the stock one up at the top. Um, but one of the things that I noticed while I was under here uh, is that these bolts right here on the flex plate, all three of these were loose, which was very unnerving. <laughs> so I started looking around, and you see that nice, fresh, shiny bolt up in there. That one's new, and the motor and transmission were about eighth of an inch apart from each other. I don't know why those bolts weren't in there. Very, very silly. Uh, you'll notice the new fresh bolt, nut, or sorry, nut up there. The bolt was there, but that nut and the one on this side on the starter there. Both of those were missing. It looked like they had never ever been put on, which is kind of iffy. Um, so those are a few things that I noticed right off the bat. Uh, the pan gasket was leaking just a little bit. Fix that. Um, there's a few little things that uh, seem kind of kind of silly that you wouldn't have. <laughs> transmission bolted to the engine and the engine bolted to the truck so all that seemed a little scary so I'm glad I got little things like that figured out all right the gauges are in everything's good to go got the uh, lights all hooked up that middle one is brighter than the rest of them I'm not sure why but uh, they don't look as bad as it looks in the camera right there but anyways uh, that's it. 
So we'll uh, fire it up here. guys uh next day uh thought about it and just decided that really it's just a better idea to put it back at the top in the normal spot uh and just run it that way and then use the bottom one later if i want to put electric one back on there so i just got rid of the electric one because it wasn't reading right anyways so this mechanical gauge is actually reading correctly so um show you what we got all right so uh i ended up moving uh the line here uh, to the top so right down there beside the Distributor you can see it going in um, Ended up putting it there just because I got super worried about this one down here uh, And that happened again going down the road or something Could be very bad So I uh, went ahead and moved it to the top which is the normal spot you would put it uh, Mostly because the electric one in the dash uh, wasn't working right anyway, so if I end up getting another one, I'll probably put it down there, the electrical one, and leave this one up here. But that'll work for now. We'll test it out. fear happened anyways so now everything is covered with oil oil pressure gauge line blew out anyways there we go we got a nice puddle of oil under it <sighs> good luck to me there you go all right uh dad came to the rescue he brought me a little plug we plugged that line off so gonna have to get some better oil line to make this thing work but it's running back in business so trying to let it burn off all the oil so i don't die on the way home so appreciate you coming out